Hey guys, what's up? Today we're taking a look at the brand new 5th generation iPod Touch and I just managed to get my hands on a 64 gig black or slate model so let's get to this unboxing and a bit about the iPod Touch or the new model it's got that new A5 chip so according to Apple it can run 7 times faster than the previous generation and up to 2 times the processing power so everything is going to be snappier and games are definitely going to be way more responsive. So other than the user manuals, inside we have Apple's brand new lightning connector. And for those of you that have the iPhone 5, this is pretty much old news. But that'll be replacing the old school 30 pin connector. Also we've got a wrist strap that'll hook onto the back of the iPod. Or if you want to hang this off your, uh, your ankle, that's really up to you. And lastly we've got Apple's brand new ear pods. And uh, those provide better sound than the previous generation of earphones. Getting to the actual iPod itself, as I mentioned, I did pick up a Slate version in 64 gigs, and this was around 400 bucks. This exactly wasn't the cheapest device. And remember guys, this isn't a phone, it's only used as an iPod, but post down below on what you guys think about the pricing of this device. But the first thing I did notice was how incredibly light this iPod was. At only about 90 grams, this thing is incredibly, incredibly light and thin. Uh, taking a look at the Aluminum back, they finally got rid of that uh, scratch prone uh, chrome that iPods were known for. But uh, in a second, I'm going to get a closer view of how this iPod actually looks close up and the rest of the features. So once I've got this puppy all fired up, it took me about two minutes to get connected to my Apple ID. Um, you'll notice that this thing has a 4 inch retina display screen so it looks exactly like the new iPhones. Uh, it's pretty much hard to tell if you're just holding it in your hands if you'll have the new iPhone or the iPod. And You'll notice on the back it's got that new iSight camera and that's a 5 megapixel HD camera that can record 1080p and right there is where the little wrist loop will go. Looking on the bottom of the device you'll notice the lightning connector in the middle and uh, you'll see I'm trying to uh, insert the lightning uh, connector inside. So that's definitely an improvement in size over the 30 pin connector. And as Apple mentioned, this is finally reversible, nothing too revolutionary there. And you'll see that it goes in both ways, that's what she said. And uh, also the iPod uh, connector for the headphones is on the bottom. On the right hand side, there's nothing. Whereas the left hand side, we've got the volume rockers that will obviously control the volume. So right out of the box, this 5th gen iPod is rocking iOS 6, so it's super fast, super snappy. It's got Siri to boot, but make sure you guys post down below on your thoughts of the new iPod. Once again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up, do subscribe. Hopefully you enjoyed this one, and I'll catch you guys later.